Hey, what's good? It's your girl, T-Chanel, and welcome to my channel, boo. Mwah. Yes, my ratchet basket is still hanging around, y'all, and she's still making an entrance for the month of February. This month is full of love. It's full of warm and coziness. I'm in South Florida, and the weather is chilled down a little bit. Like, it's breezy outside. We in the 50s and the 60s, when usually we in the 70s. So, you know, we got that cozy weather, a little bit of wind, a little bit of snuggle, okay? And we're gonna go through all the different fragrances here, including moisturizers that I mix with my fragrances, um, you know, even some combinations we're gonna talk about for the month of February. So yes, if you're interested, stay tuned. Now you know what I'm gonna ask you, right? Are you subscribed? Do you like these kind of videos, okay? You like fragrance, lifestyle, beauty, everything else in between? You like to laugh and have fun? Then you know what to do. Hit that button below and subscribe. Ride with your girl. Vibe with your girl. Subscribe to your girl, okay? All right, y'all, so starting with moisturizers. I have to moisturize my skin, even though I have these, um, you know, fragrances from Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, all that. They say they have shea butter, everything else in there. We still have to layer those lotions with moisturizers to make sure our skin is soft, supple, it's not dry, anything at all, especially with um, the type of weather that we're having right now. So to start, Moisturizers, Lubriderm, dermatologist developed daily moisture lotion for normal to dry skin. This, my grandmother gave it to me. It is thinner. I do like a lotion that's a little bit thicker, but it's Lubriderm tried and true. And yes, it was gifted to me. So of course I'm going to use it. Yeah. Next, Nivea Creme. Okay, not cream, Nivea Creme. <laughs> Bonjour, yeah, oui, oui. This, I picked up, um, well, my mom picked it up for me at Marshall's. Look at this. I love this cream. Look at the consistency of this cream, y'all. Do you see this? I mean, it just looks like whipped cream. It is so nice on the skin. Very thick, okay? So be prepared to be rubbing this in, but it definitely is worth it. It definitely is worth it. So we'll be moisturizing with that this month. And then as well, we have tried and true First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration. And that's exactly what this does. Um, this can be found at Ulta. It can be found at Sephora as well. I believe the price for this is $40 usually. However, don't buy it at that price. Ulta has sales, Sephora has sales. You just have to, you know, keep looking for them, look out for them, get the notifications. You can get it at a cheaper price, but it is definitely worth it. Okay. And besides those moisturizers here, I do have these lotions as well that I wanted to put in my um, fragrance basket this month. So here, Victoria's Secret bombshell intense okay i don't have the perfume i don't have the mist but i have this lotion i got it on sale at sas and this is a beautiful perfumey cherry bomb okay cherry is one of the fruits in the winter season it smells so good and mix mixes well with almond scents with ambery scents um you know with those cozy tonka bean scents so yes i'm looking forward to using this Victoria's Secret Teas. This is Cream Cloud, okay? Have you tried this? This is really good. Teas, the original, is a fruity scent. It really is fruity. However, Cream Cloud has a little bit more of a gourmand touch. If I'm able to find some sort of notes, I will include it. I'm not a gourmand girl, meaning I don't like things that smell like pastries and, you know, all of that. However, if you have a little bit of a gourmand touch, then I'll go for you. And this has that. So Cream Cloud, putting that with my moisturizers and we'll be using that along with the fragrances that we're gonna review now. I also forgot to mention that I have Nest 
Turkish Rose Oil. It's a beautiful oil, helps to carry your perfume. Rose is really the flower of the season right now with Valentine's Day and everything. Really the flower for the whole entire year, to be honest with you. I love Rose and this is great. So I am mixing this in with the lotions uh, and the moisturizers as well. All right, up first, y'all cherry elixir okay yes this is the season for cherries notes black cherry liquid amber and of course the infamous third note from victoria's secret quiet mystery <laughs> but i really do love this scent remember this came out in a set of four they had cherry elixir fleur elixir a rouge elixir, and I believe they had berry elixir. If I could find it, I will post it. But yes, cherry elixir really stuck with me. It's a cherry amber almond scent. Really is nice. I have the spray and also the lotion, and that is going into my basket for this month. Okay, next is Love Cotton Candy Champagne. 24 hour moisture body lotion from Bath and Body Works. Bubbly Rosé, Sweet Strawberry, Pink Sugar. I don't necessarily get the bubbly aspect from this, but I definitely get that cotton candy vibe. The strawberry is potent. The rose is definitely there. You get the sugar. It is a great scent for this time of year, okay? If you're watching this video, I know you probably got a stash. Look in your stash, girl. Do you have love? Okay? Because this is the time, this is the season to be wearing love. So I have the lotion, I have the fine fragrance mist, and that's going into my basket. This fragrance really hit when it came out from Victoria's Secret. You see, Victoria's Secret be bringing the fragrances for this time of year. They really, really do. Merlot Pear. Do you remember this one? blackberry and glazed fruit it has blackberry pear in it as well this you know the name is merlot and that's for a reason it gives a wine aspect with this fragrance i really really do like it i have the fine um fragrance mist from victoria's secret and i also have the lotion so yes you know there's some people who like fragrances that have like that wine, champagne aspect, and that's me. And there's some that don't. So yes, let me know below. Do you like like that bubbly champagne feeling with your fragrances? You know, get a little liquor, make a little sicker. <laughs> I'm just playing, but do you like that little bit of, you know, twang, okay, a little bit of pop in your fragrance, or no, you're not the type of girl, let me know below. Up next, beautiful luminous, okay, this is such a good scent, the notes, ruby currant, gilded iris, praline amber, I love this scent, it's a perfumey scent, Okay, the praline is in there, the amber balancing things, the iris makes it powdery. I mean, it's it's good for, you know, someone who's mature, but also someone who's not as mature as well. I mean, you know, from 20s on up, it's an excellent fragrance. I really do like this fragrance. I have the whole entire set here. I have the fine fragrance mist. I have the uh, body lotion. I have the body wash. And also, look at this, y'all. When I want to shine a little bit, I have the Diamond Shimmer Mist. So, yes, putting this all in my basket for the month. And, you know, I do feel also this could be a Valentine's Day scent, okay? So, if you're one of those girls who, you know, you don't want something that's so sweet, sweet, sweet. Like, yes, Valentine's Day is about strawberries. It's about chocolate. It's about all this and that. But there's, you know, sometimes you don't want to be smelling like sweet sugar. And if that's you, but you still want a fragrance that has balance, Luminous is something that I definitely suggest. Now, you know, we had to put in there a nice toasty marshmallow scent fireside flurries okay let's take a look at the notes toasted marshmallow pink lavender cashmere woods this is a scent that had that grew on me okay it's been popular for a few years and i tried it about three years ago i did not like it at all you know that i like you so why you be playing like you don't like me too like i feel like if i like you you should like me too like why? i went back to it about two years ago 
and that's when I fell in love with it. I really do love this scent. It is so good for this time of year. It is toasty, it is cozy, and literally fireside flurries, like that's the vibe that it gives. Like, you know, think about being by the fireside, toasting marshmallows, having your s'mores, like, you know, just laughing, having a good time. That's the vibes that this gives. So I have the shower gel, I have the um, body lotion, and of course, we have the fragrance mist. So putting that in the basket for those cozy times, even at night, Fireside Flores, I feel like is a good fragrance, okay? You take your, your, you have your shower routine at night, you know, you do your scrub or whichever, if you have a vanilla scrub, and yeah, marshmallow scrub or whichever, and then put this combination on, so soft, so sweet, not too much, just right. Speaking of marshmallows, y'all, Victoria Secret Sparkling Cream. This fragrance right here, glistening coconut, soft marshmallow, and of course, shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> here, look at my ears with all them carrots and all wow. the vegetables. This is a little bougie. <laughs> this is a beautiful, coconut marshmallow creamy scent okay think about having a coconut it has the white flesh in there and then you know you have a drink inside of that coconut okay so it's soaking up the flesh of the coconut and then you have inside that drink i don't know maybe it has marshmallows floating in there and um it's a little bit bubbly as well this fragrance but it is soft sweet creamy i really really do love this fragrance so i'm glad you know when i went through my stash i was like oh my god sparkling cream you see your girl i need to use this up so she's going in the basket we're gonna have some coconut flurries going on for this month, okay? Okay, next we have blueberry sugar pancakes. Notes on this, sugared blueberries, fresh pancakes, caramel cream drizzle. I do get the caramel from this. I get those sugared blueberries. Like, you know when you have pancakes and you can have pancakes with just butter on them on your plate? No, it's those like nice, juicy sweet sweet blueberries you bite into them they pop in your mouth that's what this gives so i'm looking forward to using this i have the fragrance mist i have the body lotion and i also have the body wash and i do think this will go good with like an ivory creamy vanilla scent Vanilla 28, that will mix well with this. I also have a couple of fragrance mists from a mix bar. There's an almond one and also a vanilla bourbon one. So I'll be mixing it up and, you know, doing a couple combinations with this one. Also in the basket this month, velvet petals. I will let the dent speak for itself. Do you see the dent on this bad boy? Okay, she ain't never lie. The notes on this, Lush Blooms, Almond Glaze, and of course, made you blush, made you look. <laughs> but Velvet Petals, I love this scent. Tried and true, been around for years, but just how like I loved it years and years ago, I love it the same, the same today, okay? It is a beautiful, beautiful velvet, almond, sweet, comforting scent. I truly do love this scent. Um, you know, my Valentine's Day video, I don't know if that's going to go out first or this one is going to go out first, but I have a really good combination for this. I've been wearing it and it smells so good. I have the body mist and of course I have the fragrance lotion as well. So velvet petals, I'd be like really dismayed if I didn't have velvet petals in my basket for the month of February with Valentine's Day. Like... Yo, your girl gotta go into the basket, okay? Still on our Victoria's Secret train, y'all. Ruby Rose. Look at the bottle. Isn't it so cute with, you know, the rose petals and the raspberries there? It really is nice. The notes, sparkling raspberry, velvet rose, dipped decadence. This is a beautiful fragrance I mean this just smells so good you get the sweetness from the raspberries you have rose in there which is really the star of the show and the two just tied together like when you have fruits and flowers it usually you know it usually works well especially 
raspberries and rose. I love fragrances with raspberries and rose in it. So yes, I have the fragrance mist. I also have the fragrance lotion for my basket. From this video, you can see that I do love Victoria's Secret. So here, Amber Romance and tried and true velvet um, petals. Amber Romance, it's those signature scents from Victoria's Secret. Really great for this time of year. Deep Amber, Sugar Kisses and Chasing Sunsets. Amber Romance, if you're an Amber lover and you don't know about Amber Romance, Girl, where have you been at? Where have you been at? This is such a nice scent. It's giving the amber. It's giving the sweetness. It smells good on its own. And it works well, you know, layered, um, you know, with your lotions and perfumes. Just a tried and true uh, fragrance for me. I have the fragrance mist. I have the lotion. And we will be wearing her out this month, okay? rearranging our fragrance basket real quick so we can pack some more things in. Next up, we have Dark Kiss Bath and Body Works. They bring it back for Valentine's Day. I mentioned it in my Valentine's Day walkthrough and I definitely understand why. Black Raspberry, Burgundy Rose, Bergamot Incense, Dark Vanilla Bean, and Plum Musk. Look what it says. Fall under the hypnotic spell of true romance with our exclusive dark kiss. Mm. This scent is sexy. For Valentine's Day? Wearing dark kiss? Ooh. Oh my god. It is just a deep rose scent. It does bring that incense in there. Uh, it's just so, so beautiful. The fruit, I believe it's raspberry, right? Let's see. Yes black raspberry i mean the plum is just a beautiful scent exactly how it looks the vibe is vibes that it's giving you here sexiness okay that dark sensual lovely kiss okay that kiss that is like no other mm, that's what's in this bottle so you know i had to wear that for the month of february i have the fragrance mist and i also have the shower gel i don't have the lotion but that's okay i'm gonna use one of my moisturizers even spray okay my fragrance mist into my lotion like that nivea cream okay if i want something thick i'll spray the lotion I'll spray the fragrance mist into the lotion, mix it up, put it over my body, over that layer with some more Dark Kiss, okay, fragrance mist, and then decide on a perfume. A lot of people say this reminds them of black opium. I haven't had black opium in years because I used to wear it all the time years ago, and yeah, I just, you know, got over it. But they do have a, a newer release. There's a red one. It has cherry in it, but still the, the DNA. I know they did the, um, you know, the Le Parfum. So something to look into. If you have Black Opium and you have Dark Kiss, smell those two and see how you like them together. Now I have a couple of shower gels and one fragrance mist that I wanted to include. Not sets, but, you know, things that I have that I want to use start using up and goes with some of these fragrances. So we have Renewing Metal Walk, Rose and Magnolia. There's quite a few fragrances that I mentioned here that have rose in it. This is a beautiful rose scent. The Magnolia is there, but I feel like rose is the star of the show. And Aromatherapy, of course. Vanilla Mocha Martini. For this one, I just have the shower gel, nothing else, and that is on purpose. I am not a gourmand lover, as I, um, you know, mentioned earlier. However, for this particular one, I felt like it'll go good with, um, you know, layering with Deluxe from Tiziana Terenzi, and I'm um, also the Mix Bar fragrances. So yes, I'm gonna use up this shower gel. It's the time and the season with it being a little bit cooler. And then next we have Sun Blooms and Suede from Bath and Body Works. This is such a creamy, um, you know, smell. White Raspberry, Pink Petals, and Vanilla Cream, okay? The Pink Petals do come through. I don't know if the Pink Petals mean Carnation or Rose, um, but it really is nice with the flowers. It, it's lighter in there. The white raspberry, you do smell that, the raspberry coming through, and then the vanilla. It is such a creamy, 
light scent and I think it is good for this time like everything doesn't have to be heavy okay just because the weather is cold outside doesn't mean that your fragrance has to be so dense and heavy you can have something that has a little bit of a lighter effect okay so I have these adding it into the basket we're gonna mix and match throughout the month use up our products and smell good while doing it yes so this is my fragrance basket for the month of february we have some heavy hitters in here with the luminous we have the merlot pear we have ruby rose velvet petals uh, we also have you know some that are a little bit more cozier like you know your fireside flurries i like the amber romance to go out with but i also like to wear that at night too just smelling those whiffs of the amber and it's just such a good feeling to smell good feel good and everything in between so yes if you like this content and you like this this video please give me a thumbs up like it all right and make sure to subscribe ride with your girl vibe with your girl subscribe to your girl i appreciate you so much virtual hugs mm -hmm. <laughs> And remember, never forget, okay, that you are beautiful. You are one of a kind. There's nobody else in this world like you. And most importantly, you are loved. And if nobody else told you today, don't worry. I got you, boo. I love you. Mwah. Check out some of my other videos. Bye. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.